Hey Star Wars fans, thanks for tuning in for week 5 of Bring Home the Bounty. Another another couple of reveals for us today from the Black Series as well as a uh, giant Lego ATAT, which is like 70 centimeters tall and 70 centimeters long and will retail for about $1300 here in Australia. So we're going to stick with the Hasbro stuff because that's it's affordable. In comparison to the Lego set, it's affordable. So, we've got a couple new figures to show. I think we're all sort of... I think we all knew these were coming, at least at least the first one we're going to talk about here. And that is Ahsoka Tano, based on her appearance from The Mandalorian. Um, awesome looking figure. This is looking really, really good. I'm glad Hasbro really sort of pushed forward to get this thing out. Um, as soon as possible you know I think we're all pretty in the know that it takes 18 months minimum to get from concept to design to shelf basically um, so yeah 18 months probably going to be about right by the time this one comes out looking fantastic uh, the missing robe is feels a little bit of a a lazy miss um, considering she was quite prominently wearing that robe throughout most of that episode but uh you know I'll take it you know go and see guys like BAC customs big shout out um, yeah doing some amazing amazing custom work and uh, I know he's already got some of these planned um, so yeah just gonna have to we're just gonna have to get creative folks but yeah she does look fantastic um, and the white nice white lightsabers you know no doubt the hilts are going to be repacks of the rebels one because why change them um, nice to see again nice white blade as opposed to that sort of almost very faint blue um, that it was as the plastic was with the uh, rebels version of Ahsoka so yeah I'm very very excited for this one being a big Ahsoka fan I'm going to have to have two um, I'm doing my best to keep a second one of each Black Series Ahsoka that comes out. So next up we have the Death Watch Mandalorian from the flashback scenes in The Mandalorian and this is just, this is fantastic, this looks badass. Definitely going to need multiples of this one, he's looking very very cool. Um, yeah like I said we've only got boxed images of these two so uh, yeah, I'm really loving the look of this one. Uh, he's got the, the blaster rifle, which we sort of see pretty prominently in those flashbacks uh, of Din Djarin's childhood. Um, but yeah, looking really, really good. The figure seems to be using some parts from Mandalorian, uh, the Mandalorian himself, Boba Fett's head. You know, quite a few repacks, but the uh, paintwork looks pretty damn good on it. Um, to the point where it's probably pretty much you know accurate as you can get it so nicely done Hasbro really looking forward to this one and uh, yeah we might be able to do some custom variations of it so yeah really looking forward to what people are going to come up with um, with this figure when it comes out as for when they come out these two I don't believe they have a release sort of date scheduled at this point um, hopefully within the coming days we'll have some more photographs some loose shots of these photos probably as soon as I've uploaded this video <laughs> more than likely so yeah we'll quickly take a look at the little side art on the boxes now I've done my best to Photoshop and stretch these out obviously these two don't fit together um, we've seen one figure with the corner of Ahsoka's lightsaber so we already know which one that is and to be honest, I couldn't be bothered going through the laborious task of photoshopping a whole bunch of packaging um, <laughs> to, to show what's going to go on here. But, you know, obviously both are in the Mandalorian line, both looking fantastic, really looking forward to these ones coming out. I imagine sort of midway through next year, so, um, you know, it would have been nice to sort of see them sooner. But yeah, you're looking at that 18 month mark from concept to shelf. So not too far away, guys. It'll be here before we know it. And that will wrap it up for week five of Bring Home the Bounty. Just these little couple of uh, Hasbro reveals this week, which is still exciting. I don't mind being drip fed this stuff. It, you know, gives me something to look forward to every single week um, up until Christmas. And, uh, you know, just keeps the hype train rolling. Boba, Book of Boba Fett coming out very, very soon. End of next month, which is crazy to think about. So we're going to keep riding this hype train. We're going to keep getting hyped up every week. 
with new reveals, new new different bits and pieces. So stay tuned for more. I'll be doing a video every week, sort of going through what we've what we've seen. So thank you very much for watching. Till my next video, may the force be with you always.